Welcome to Perspective. Today we will talk about the marshmallow test. An interesting experiment conducted by psychologist Walter Mischel, a professor at Stanford University, which began in the 1960s. He wanted to understand how willpower and our ability to delay gratification work in our everyday life. The experiment was like this. The professor took four-year-old children alone in a room with a marshmallow. Marshmallow is a kind of American sweet. I want to give you a prize for having done so well. Do you like marshmallows? You do? Well, here's a marshmallow for you. You can eat it now, but if you wait until I come back, you can have two of them. So you can eat this now, but I'm going to go outside for a minute. When I come back, you can have two marshmallows if you wait. Okay, I'll wait. Do you think you could wait? Okay, we'll see. I'll be back in a minute. See. Notice, notice the, the body language is wonderful. Just totally looks away the whole the whole time. Too hot. distraction <laughs> Hello. You waited. You waited for me. Okay, so now you know what's going to happen. You're going to get a double treat. I'm going to give you two the like? of these you lovely marshmallows. You want to eat them now or save them for later? Okay. Well, go ahead. A little sticky. I've had marshmallows before. Well, some children waited, others just ate it. Right. You got it right. So I'm going to give you a prize. I'm going to give you a treat. The treat is a delicious marshmallow. But if you wait, I'm, I have to go check my car. When I come back, if you wait, you can have two of them. You can have one now, or when I come back, you can have two. Okay? Okay. Licking her, licking her lips. Just temptation. Just capital T. Sorry. Hello, my dear. You ate the marshmallow. Was it delicious? Yes. Do you like marshmallows? Now, this kid is wonderful. You don't like marshmallows? Look at that face. Do you like chocolate? Yeah. Okay, well. I love chocolate. The treat you have won is a chocolate. But, 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 if you wait till I come back, you can get two. You can eat this now. I have to go check my car. And when I come back, if you wait, I'll give you two of them. Okay. So you can eat it now, but if you wait till I come back, Second you have two. Time. Okay? You think you can wait? Okay. So I will be back in a few minutes. So you can eat it, eat it now. Four times. But if you wait, you're going to have two of them. Okay, I'll be back soon. <laughs> I'm not out of the door. <laughs> I love the little skull and crossbones. Like, like total boy. And he's just enjoying it, minding his own business, eating away. Hello, I'm back. Now How listen carefully. Good. I ate it. Oh, you ate it. You ate the chocolate. <laughs> Actually, two out of three kids end up eating the marshmallow before the 15 minutes are over. The interesting thing is, all of them said, we will wait for two marshmallows, and some of them did wait, some of them did not. And please remember they are four years old, 
So for a four-year-old kid to wait for 15 minutes also is torture. More than 550 children were given the marshmallow test between 1968 and 1974. After this, Walter Mischel divided the two groups on pen and paper, not tell the children anything. 14 years later, he went back to those children, and he found amazing differences between the two groups. He went and interviewed their parents, their classmates, their teachers and he found those children, who were able to control themselves, on average did better in academics, in co-curricular activities, in sports, they were regarded as more confident, self-controlled, they are more successful, they have higher income, lower drug addiction rate, higher SAT scores, and were better at maintaining close relationships. And the other group gets significantly lower SAT scores. It's amazing, just a small thing, a little bit of self-restraint, I want to do this and I do it, and the other person says, I want to do this, but I can't do it, just this difference. How is it that our ability to delay gratification, with a simple test of willpower in childhood can predict so much, of how our lives play out? What we have in the brain, that is different from animals, is, we understand time. We understand the future. We constantly daydream, we scheme, we plot, we constantly think about what could be. Now let's experiment. Try to teach your dog or any other animal, the concept of tomorrow. Try it. About the next week, the next year. And you realize, you can't. Animals live in the present. And that's what intelligence is. Intelligence is being able to map the future, simulate the future. And that's what we humans do that animals cannot. If you want to learn more about this, check out full video of Marshmallow Test and the book The Marshmallow Test by Walter Mischel by clicking the link down in the description. Thank you for watching.